It's the new horror film that came out a couple weeks ago, and I finally got around to watching it. This film is based off the short film by the same name, which I had no clue about until like a month ago when my one friend's like, hey, have you seen this short film? And I was like, nah. Then I watched it, and I was like, holy cow, that was a scary short film. So naturally, when I heard that this film was based off that, I was like, all right, I need to check this out. And the question is, lights out, does it work? And to that I say, kind of, it kind of works. Um, those of you that don't know, it, it kind of follows that horror film kind of like cliche of like, you know, a family basically is getting like tormented by something called Diana. And I think that she is an interesting character, but I think they could have done a better job with her backstory and everything. And when you see the film, you'll know what I'm talking about. But I will say this, the acting in this film is very strong. I'm not usually a fan of Teresa Palmer, but she was actually good in this film. Uh, she wasn't just this, like, blonde, like, you know, that's in the, you know, your typical horror film. She was actually good. Um, I was surprised by her performance. Uh, Maria Bella, she usually plays the mom who's, like, depressed, so she does a great job in this film as well because she's a mom and she's depressed in this film. Um... The thing also with this film is that I was genuinely surprised by the look of the film. When I say look, I mean that it was a low-budget film, but it oftentimes didn't really feel like it because it had a sense of grittiness almost, like a sense of uh, realism, which I liked, and I like that in a film as most of you know. Um, however, with that said, this film does have a lot of problems, such as light character development and or cliche character moments. Um, a couple of Dax Machinas towards the end. Um, Diana herself is quite apparent to be CGI, and it's it's not like the Babadook where it's like when you see the Babadook, you're like, okay, it's not too bad. Like when you see Diana in this film, you're like, oh, this is what I'm scared of. So um, also, I, I th towards the end of this film, there were like a lot of like almost laughable moments, at least for me, and I don't like that because I mean when I go to see a horror film, I kind of want to be almost terrified. So this film did have a couple jump scares that worked. But overall, I'll be honest, this film has like a lot of like lazy moments, and I've been saying that a lot in my reviews, but the truth be told, that's how I've been feeling with a lot of films, and Lights Out is no exception. Um, however, I would say check out the short film Lights Out. That is, that's terrifying. It's two and a half minutes, and it's terrifying. But for now, this movie, Lights Out, gets a three out of five star rating. Um, so yeah, guys, um, you have seen this film, let me know uh, your thoughts, and uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. Have a good rest of your day.